Everyone, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Uh, is it beautiful outside? Is it rainy? I have no idea. I haven't been outside at all today. Um, thank you so much for being here. The choir that's before you right now is the Freshman Women's Chorus. And when we went to state assessment, that was one of the songs that they sang. The next song that they will sing for you, they also performed at state assessment. They received an overall excellent rating and a perfect score in sight reading, which is awesome. I think we should give them a round of applause for that. So this next song that they sing for you is called El Vito, and we did uh, some study on what this is, and for, in its simplest form, it is a dance 
and you're flailing your arms around. And it's in its simplest form, that's exactly what uh, we are singing. And I think the evident, it is evident in the music and the lyric and the three-part harmony. Uh, I think you can kind of get that. So please enjoy El Vito. There we go. As the men's choir is coming on stage, I want to talk to you a little bit about our state assessment. Uh, we go to state choral performance assessment every year. Sometimes it's in February. Lately, it's been in April for the uh, Huntsville region. And we are we pick two songs, or I pick two songs that I think is both a challenge and also uh, capable for the students to sing. And after I pick those two songs, we rehearse the songs, and we rehearse, and we fine tune, and we perfect. And then we go to state assessment and we perform in front of three judges and they grade us uh, a one to 88, 88 being the highest and one being the lowest and the men's choir uh, earlier, not earlier, the men's choir right now, um, they scored a superior rating in both, an overall superior rating in both their assessment and then also their sight reading and I'll talk about sight reading here in just a little bit. So I think that uh, also deserves a round of applause for our men's choir. One really cool thing about the state assessment is that the past couple of years it has been at Columbia High School, but I believe that next year it is going to be here at Grissom. So it's going to be really great for us to not have to travel. Thank you. 
As the concert choir is coming on stage, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we do for sight reading. So at the beginning of the school year, uh, for a lot of us, I introduced this horrible term of sight reading. And what that is, is that the students are being given a brand new piece of music, a brand new 8 to 16 measures, and they are supposed to sing it accurately, perfectly, in about five minutes. Uh, and you may ask, how do you do that? Well, uh, I stole, whoop, good, front of the risers, front of the risers, like I said. Um, I stole uh, something from Hooper High School when I interned, and it's this awesome system of going through the rhythms first, and then going through the solfege, and then going through uh, the solfege, actually singing the solfege in our heads. It's just this large process um, that is tedious and can drive a lot of us crazy and drive me crazy sometimes too, but it definitely pays out. Um, all of our uh, ensembles that we took off for, men's, women's, concert and chamber, scored uh, superior ratings, uh, high superior ratings on sight reading. And like I said earlier, the women's choir did gain a uh, perfect score in sight reading. So uh, sight reading is an, not an evil thing if they come home and tell you, oh, we did this horrible sight reading. It is not evil. Uh, and they are... Uh, so much better because of their sight reading skills. Uh, this first piece that they are going to be singing for you is Shore on the Shining Night. And how many of you were in All City this year? Yeah. So, yeah, and at our awards ceremony, I will talk, uh, recognize more people that did All City. Uh, but this was one of the pieces uh, that Dr. Powell from Auburn University chose. And we actually did not perform it at All City. 
Um, but I was like, you know what, I like this piece so much, and so many of them love this piece a lot, that I decided it'd be really awesome for us to try it for state assessment, and they rocked it. It sounds really awesome. I'm really excited for y'all to hear Shore on This Shining Night.
As everyone is coming on stage, oh, oh, you good? Good. All right. As everyone is coming on stage, uh, I'd like to introduce Miss Karen Morris to you. She is our president of the Christian Coral Parents Association, and I believe she has some things to talk to y'all. Good evening, everyone. I want to thank everyone for coming out. That trip that was planned. <laughs> That's my Hannah. Uh, I wanted to take just a moment tonight to, th to thank the ladies who have served with me on the board this year. So if you will please make your way to the stage. We have Jennifer Rice and Jennifer Jonas. If uh, Jane Ann Carlton would please come up. And Lawanda, if you were here, if you will please come. And Carla, I know you if you will please come up. And Elizabeth, please come up. I also want to take this time to introduce the ladies who will be Serving with us next year, I'll be returning as president, president, Tony Key. Will you please stand? I know you're here. She's going to be vice president. <laughs> Jennifer is going to be coming back. She's going to be our secretary next year. <laughs> Jennifer is going to be coming back as our uniforms person next year. And we want to put in a plug for her. She needs assistance very badly with the uniforms and if you serve on the board you get a discount and I, and Karen Heller I know you're here Karen is going to be our treasurer next year <laughs> and thank you for coming out tonight I think we all need to give them another round of applause Coming into this position and realizing that there was a uh, parent board already set into place, uh, I don't even know who set it in place, uh, Ms. Shingler or Stevenson, has been here for a while and it allows me to not have to um, focus on all the other stuff. It, it allows me to focus on your kids. It allows me to teach them music. It allows me to actually use what I want to University of Montevallo for and spend all that money for. Um, and so I am extremely, extremely grateful to have uh, such an awesome set of parents that are willing to help, not just me, but help these kids be support, uh, be successful. So thank you so much. As we come to our last three songs, uh, I wanted, want to let you know that once we get done here, we do have cupcakes outside in the lobby for everyone. Please only take one, not five, just one. Um, and after that, after about 10 to 15 minutes, you are uh, more than welcome to please come back in here and we will uh, go forward with our award ceremony, recognizing all the students that participated in all state, solo and ensemble, all city. Uh, we'll recognize all our seniors. Some of the seniors uh, have put together our paper plate awards, and so they will recognize all the students in choir, uh, and then we will um, recognize those that were awarded our senior scholarships, and then there will be a slideshow and a senior slideshow at the very end just to end our year and to say uh, thank you and fantastic job to everyone. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with that. 
But I do want to recognize a couple of students that are up here. Let's see. Kelsey Verbal, raise your hand. Kelsey Verbal is going to have our solo on Beyond the Sea. Beatrice and Josh Caldwell, can you raise your hands? Raise it higher. There we go. Uh, they have our solos on At Last. And then Mayor Grace, where are you, Mayor Grace? She has our solo on Blue Skies. So please uh, enjoy these last three songs of our vocal jazz set. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. I call my own 